Hi guys, welcome on the Goiverer Town, which is one of the rivers where uh, the Hurg company offers the fishing. I'm Martin, I'm coming from the Czech Republic, which is pretty close. And the Goiverer, it's my favorite river for the big railing. Conditions, weather was perfect today, a little bit of sun, some clouds, some wind but not, not for long. And the water level was perfect, a little bit up from the one meter, which is best conditions here. My favorite technique for the graylings is dry fly fishing, but hatches were not really happening today, so I was forced to use the nymph setup. My favorite nymph setup is the Euronymph leader, which is quite well known from the Czech Republic. And this is a big river, so I was using long rod, 11 feet, three weight, nymph maniac from the Vision brand, long leader non-tapered like the Euro, Euro leader with the indicator on the end, two flies tied on the fluorocarbon, bottom fly like the heavy stuff to get the flies deep and the dropper uh, like smaller fly, some mayfly to like the catching fly. And we got some nice fish today. Didn't get really big ones like over 50 centimeters, but still nice fish. Like we say, it's fishing, you cannot get all fish in one day, so maybe we will get the big one tomorrow or day after on the next time. Okay, if it comes to the flies, I'm keeping it simple. I think it's important to have some flies like the caddis flies, then some mayfly. And the most important thing is to have different sizes and different weights for different conditions. You can see there is some shallow parts, some deeper parts over there. So from the heavy bombs like 5.5 mm tungsten down to the 2.5-3 mm. And probably my favorite it's the hair nymph, it can be the caddis, it can be the stonefly, also the mayfly. They are long, mm. actually they are a bit long, I mean to tie them. Mm. So, now I, this one, I destroyed this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Pino and uh, I'm Italian, I come from Italy. I live in the surroundings of, Mi of Milano, so in the upper part of the country. And uh, well, I'm honored to be one of the Hurk Vision crew member. And uh, well, I, I, I've been fishing for a while, to be honest, and uh, probably I started when I was eight and I fell in love with fly fishing approximately 20 years ago. Okay, let's go in then.
special about this two rivers, the, I mean, it's the quality of the water, the surroundings. I mean, look where we are, it's amazing. So this, sometimes the water is gin clear and, uh, and of course, if, if it's not too bright, fish tend to attack prey. So it will be easier to fish with a double-handed rod. Probably if we would have used some wet flies on the swing, we would have probably have even more chances, but they were not so active during those days. But you know, it's, it's fishing, it's not catching. And uh, the fact that we are uh, in this kind of situation in the river and casting gently, doing mass presentation, the fact that you get in touch with some fish basically told us that we were doing things in the right manner. In other situations, we would have probably caught more, um, we could catch more, but uh, yeah. It is what it is. It, again, it's fishing and it's not catching. We tried several kinds of strategies with different tackles. So we went down with sinking tips. Uh, we. We also used skagit lines with, uh, with heavy tungsten tips or T-tip. So we went down up to 217, especially on the issue of Trans, so wider river, uh, because the water is there, pretty high, lots of pressure, and the water was a little bit also, I mean, not, not gene clear, so everything you now was pretty promising. And well, we got in touch with some fish, and, uh, uh, and by the way, Jan caught an amazing fish, so the fish are there, the fish are there. It's, the chance is, uh, is to catch them is always there. There's one, two, three, and the small one just in the back. In the back. So there are four fish in this box. We are right now here inside of the Stegwirt. The Stegwirt was rebuilt 2018 into a complex new hotel and accommodation for us, for the fishermen. We have a very, very good relationship with both guys, with Tamino and Fritz Krampelhuber, who was sometimes the best black fishermen in the area and they are now friends of mine. Not, and not sometimes, always the best black fisher. Always the best black <laughs> fisherman, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they know the water very well and as we said, we are right now here at the Goesera Traun, one of the best fly fishing waters around in middle of Europe, let's say, for grayling. For us it's normal that we, we, see, we see all the fish, and, but when you come from other country and you make holiday here for fishing, then it's really perfect, I think, our place here. It's really amazing for the people when they see, when they take a look out of the window from the room or when they sit outside of the Stegwitt. They can yeah. see when it's the perfect time, they can see the rising, the hatching of the graylings when they take the insects. This is really an unbelievable place to be here. Yeah, our kitchen has two docks mm -hmm. and we have uh, very traditional food here mm -hmm. in Stegwitz. Of course, we, we, have, we have traditional food, but we have also some inputs from other countries, that means, yeah. 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 Sometimes you can see when you look at your menu, you make some special menus like you do it yeah. for Valentine's Tag, let's say, or for Sylvester. Yeah. And the main thing is if you take a look here, these both guys are also the cooks from the Austrian soccer team. So now everybody knows why the Austrian soccer team is so good. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. 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 I hope <laughs> the guys don't see that video yeah. now. <laughs> When we have events, fly fishing events, or the event with our Hurch crew team, we always warm welcome. We, we get all what we want. We can have a barbecue outside. We make, let's say, a Stelze. I don't know the English word right now, but with, with dumplings and, the and crowds food. of traditional <laughs> food. It's so good and the people love it. You're always warm welcome and the people love really to come here because it's one, maybe the perfect place to come for fishing in Austria and have accommodation and food and all fun. What do you want to drink now? <laughs> Coffee black. <laughs> <laughs>
It's just amazing there. You can you can spot the fish. It's perfect sight fishing. It's just it's it's at its best, best basically. Yeah. I came to fly fishing through a good friend of mine who showed me the basics and then uh, I went on from there. I also um, got into fly tying a lot and uh, I did some competitions and I also won some competitions like Swiss Championship and uh, the EFA Championship and I came to Hurg through the championships and I'm now in the team for uh, almost two years. Yeah, I get the chance to fish here in Bad Goisen on the on the Traun on Weissenbach. It's uh, always a great opportunity because you have like such an amazing population of all kind of fish here, and it's pretty different to where I'm from. So here you have like the the very big massive brown trouts and uh, clear water and uh, perfect conditions, and I always love it to come here. Fly fishing. Yeah. You're in the nature. You you, you respect this and um, you have fun. You smile yeah. Yeah. with other people and it's a happy day. I appreciate it to can fish with you in. in in a stream like this. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing, right? I never <laughs> see uh, this clear water, so beautiful fish. Yeah. And, uh, and you even got, you've even, even got some already, so that's yeah, a great I, thing. I, I catch a... Uh, uh, trout. Brown trout. Yeah. and oh, I never see color like this. Yeah. And the, the fish is tricky, but it's... Yeah? Oh, unbelievable.
black is better than mine probably because it's black goat fish mine not fish so use boss black meat I was fishing today with my Hoog crew team member Gabriele Cap Singero from Italy. And believe me guys, we had a lot of fun. My home water is like Vessenbach. So I really enjoy fishing with strike indicator with the Peter that show me a technique that I'm usually uh, don't do in Italy because uh, I usually fish with the uh, Euronymphing or uh, drop hopper. I really want to thank you for the black nymph because probably was the nymph of the day. Yeah, that's no problem, but black is beautiful, you know, yeah. so we did the right job, we did the right choice and we had a lot of fun. It was an amazing day for me to fishing with you, my friend. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you too.
for dry flight than than uh, XLV I use. This is only box of mm -hmm. Today we are at Rettenbach. Rettenbach is divided into stretches, each around five kilometers. We are mainly fishing here for brown trout, but you also can catch sometimes graylings or rainbow trout. We mostly fish with dry fly and worms. Ja. Outtakes. Outtakes. Servus! Martin, hier, go to the big fish Martin, go fishing. You have big grain. Fun cooler. Big grain, big rainbow, big brown. Falsche Richtung. The right choice probably was fishing with 9.3 class 5 rod. So, and uh, and nine class five. With this shallow water and clear water, we prefer to fish. Ah, that's ah, Gulo. Ah. Petri! Petri, heil! 
Pass meine Haar. Das sieht man eigentlich gar nicht so. Ich hab doch irgendwas im Maul. Um, yeah. Our kitchen have two dogs. <lacht> dogs. <lacht> dogs. 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 Ja, ja, stimmt eh. Bei Leon Alaba. Jawohl. Jawohl. Dogs. 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 Dogs.